it runs again. It's that's a little bit of a rough idle. I haven't changed plugs, wires, oil, nothing in it yet, but wanted to make sure it ran before I got too crazy. So I guess it's time to pull all this EGR stuff off, change plugs and wires, get an actual vacuum cap for that right there, and uh, get this thing actually running good. So let's see what happens. A little bit loud in here because it's raining and the shop's all metal so anytime it rains it gets super loud in here but uh, I got the carbon intake on truck runs uh, I've got to delete all the EGR still I just replaced the motor mounts and the transmission mount which was kind of a pain in the ass a little more than I expected uh, I've still got to get a vacuum cap for this side of the carb and uh, the va this vacuum line here that it goes over to the brake booster uh, it's pretty dry rotted and cracked where it goes into the intake manifold down there so I think I'm going to go ahead and replace that and uh, I think other than that I've just got a I'm going to change the oil because uh, I don't know when the last time that was done and I'm gonna go ahead and change the plugs because they were, I'm sure they're all fouled out from the truck running super rich before. And then I'm gonna go ahead and change the wires, cap and rotor, and everything should be good. After I get all that stuff done later this week, I'm hoping I can run it over and drop it off at the body shop. And after Doug gets everything painted, we'll get, uh, they'll get all the body panels mounted back on the truck and then it should be good to go. Uh, I still have this off. I found a set of wheels and I need to test fit another one of these wheels and see what my clearance looks like and kind of compare it to the width and offset of the wheels that I found. So that's why the wheel is still off. So I'm gonna try to get that done probably tomorrow, sometime this week, whatever. But should be a lot of stuff coming together this week and we'll see what happens.